the brown boys, the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys. Check this out. Let's break down this game. Let's break down this game. Who ready to break down this game? This game. I'm sorry, but I'm snitching. <laughs> We in here. Y'all come on in, man. Y'all come on in this thing. Let's come on in this thing. Don't take it easy on Brian and KB. Make all LeBron sexuals mad. Oh, man. I don't even know what they mad at. This is the most respectful breakdown that they're going to get. Yeah, this is the, one of the most respectful breakdowns that they're going to see in breakdown history of the game. They can't do nothing but respect it. You know, this is what I did for a living. And the ones that say I did it bad, just make sure you pick the right doctor there. Because they still call good doctors and bad doctors, doctors. So you will not shame me in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Oh shit, I don't fuck with the road station. Oh shit. It's rolling right back up out of this thing. Come on, Kwan. There you go, it done caught now. Dude, you so fucking lame. Oh, okay. You know, you here though, so I'm winning. I got you, babe. As long as I got you, I'm winning. <laughs> I might be lame, but I got you. I got you interested. I got you so in your feelings, you come over here to text me how lame I am. So I got you. I got your undivided attention and that's all I needed. So thank you. And I got swag, but I got your undivided attention. That's more important to me than this swag. So thank you kindly. Let me not play with your time. Let me get into my critique. I done got my swagger roll. So let's not play with any more of your time. What's up is? Let me not play with any more of these people's time. Let's get to the critique so they can start crying. And now that there's no volume on, I can just continue talking. All right, we got father and son out here on the court. One ball, one with hair. One young, one old. But LeBron is going to be blown by already. All right, first thing I see. Bronny James is not jumping to the ball. In basketball, when a pass is thrown, you'll see the good defenders like Drew Holiday, uh, Derek Fisher, they jump to that nail. They jump. He should be touching number 22. He should be down in this black area. His guy is way out there in no man's land. What is he going to do way out there? He needs to be down in the – matter of fact, I'm going to take myself off the screen. All right, once that pass was thrown, Bronny James is supposed to jump to the ball. Right now, because a guy could have been curling off. If this was a curl off to a shot, a guy could have been shooting the ball. He should have jumped right into the passing lane towards the ball. Okay, let's see if he get down in the area where he can guard. Okay, that was good rotation. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't too bad after that. The only thing is, when he make this recovery out to this man, don't let him get direct line. Send him back middle. He should have sent that guy middle. He should have been getting to the nail to send that guy back middle to LeBron. That's the only thing.
make it to where you can mark it on the screen. How the hell I can mark on the screen? I would love to know how to mark on that damn screen. That would be great. Now look at this. Hold on. Look at this offense. Where's Bronny? He's standing, right? Bronny is out there at the three. Nobody's going to guard you there. That's a good shot for Dalton. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Never dribble into the crowd. He, everything was right. But where are you going? Kick the ball up to your pops. Let him run the break. You're dribbling through two people. Where are you going? LeBron is right there. Kick the ball up to LeBron and you feel the lane. Kick the ball up to LeBron, fill out the lane. Turnover. He got saved, but that was a turnover. And that's going to make his teammates not trust him. Okay. What the fuck was that? What was that? First of all, wait for this pick. He's already moving. The pick is not set. Wait till the pick comes. This is too fast. Let me slow it down. He's moving before the screen even get there. Let this man get a good pick on there, on his body, and then you can dance and get downhill. Don't be moving already. His foot ain't set. That can get him an offensive foul. So the guy get his foot down. He get a decent pick. Why is he skipping through there? He should have stayed wide. Stay wide. Keep going downhill. Keep going downhill. Don't come across. Give number 11 a time to get even with his man. And that he's just reaching from the corner. He got Dalton Connect. He is not going to he's not going to come off Dalton Connect. This is the time that you try to make one of them commit to you. And once one of them commit to you, then now you got the lob at the rim. You got everything in play. You got skip pass or just pull up for this nice little floater. You could take one more rhythm dribble and pull up right here off the glass. Or you try to get downhill just a little bit further. Number 11 is rolling. You got your float game right here. Or you got number 11 at the rim. But he's skipping across the lane to try to pass a ball. Where did he learn this bullshit? Turnover. And why is his daddy not coaching him out here on the floor? Y'all would have been a good father-son moment. Come patting on the head. Calm down, son. Jump to the ball. He got a bad mistake. This is a bad, this is, this is lazy. This kid is right out of college and got no energy. Everybody in their right mind know that when that pass is thrown, Bronny James is supposed to jump down to the nail. He's supposed to be right here in that black part. This guy, if he shoot that deep three right there, God bless him. He done picked up his dribble. LeBron, Bronny James should jump to the ball. He's supposed to jump towards that ball in that passing lane, and that can disrupt the timing of this pass and help his teammates. He doesn't jump to the ball. Where are they getting the notion that this kid is a great defender? He should have been, see, had he jumped to the ball, had he jumped to the ball and not be hugged up on his man, 
then he would have discouraged number three from even driving this ball had he done what he's supposed to do. Bradley Beal would have never drove this ball to that nail if Bronny wasn't hugged up to his man and stuck to his principles of being in the nail and being able to get back out and help position. This is a poorly coached team, J.J. Reddick. Break the curse. Don't do him like Stephen A. I don't want to hear that shit. Thank you for the super chat. You ain't never seen Stephen A. put something up on the channel. You had never seen Stephen A. put up on the screen and give a basketball breakdown. This is a basketball breakdown. Now it's a curse. Now it's a curse to break down basketball. 